Yo, what is up? Welcome to Marco's Modern Life. It's your boy Mar, and we are back with another video. Today, big news, man. We got our first official images of the Air Jordan 1 Chicago Reimagined. Definitely wanted to talk to you guys about that because that's something I am excited about. Also, it looks like I got the alert that the exclusive access for the Air Jordan 6 Red Oreo went live for Finish Line and JD Sports. And your boy didn't get exclusive access so definitely just want to talk to you guys about these couple things real quick to see how you guys feel about that before we get into that make sure like the video that helps us get out in the algorithm so we can continue to grow and live out our dreams and if you're into dope sneaker content from a true sneakerhead make sure to subscribe to the channel we are on the road to 2k as soon as we get there we are going to do a giveaway so make sure tell a friend to tell a friend subscribe to the channel hit the notification bell so you can get notified when we drop videos so you never miss anything Make sure, also leave a comment, let me know how you feel about what we're talking about today, all of that. Of course, I love the interaction, I love talking to you guys, so anytime you type a comment, I'm definitely going to talk back, because that's what I'm here for, that's what I enjoy about YouTube. We did get our first looks, the first images of the Air Jordan 1 Chicago dropping in October, and I know we got a ways to go until that shoe drops, but I am very excited about this shoe, and definitely wanted to see how you guys was feeling the first looks at it. So, my worry with this shoe is that Jordan Brand was going to go too far, that they were going to do too much, that it was going to be bleached looking and all of this, and it was going to just look so different that it wasn't going to look like the Air Jordan 1 Chicago. But, with the first looks of it, I'm actually pretty happy. I'm pretty happy with the look. I don't feel like they went too far. Um, and I'll put a picture up, but we do have some cracked leather um, on the shoe. Looks like we got some on the toe box as well. I'm really not tripping about that. I think it's a cool look. It gives it a vintage type vibe. It looks aged. So I'm actually rocking with it. I'm actually rocking with it. Let me know how you guys feel about it. Do you like the cracked leather look? I think we all would prefer <laughs> just to get an Air Jordan 1 Chicago, just the normal thing. I think we all would prefer that. But with this, I'm not mad at it. I'm not mad at the look of it. I think it looks pretty good. Now we don't have a visual of the entire shoe. We just kind of see in uh, the side of it and then the collar and stuff, but you can definitely see the cracking on it, but it doesn't look bad in my opinion. It definitely doesn't look bad. This is a shoe that I'm really excited about. So when I found out about these, I was really hyped. I knew, you know, they were gonna switch it up a little bit with Reimagine, but so far with the look of the shoe, I don't think they went too far with it. I think it looks nice. It still looks like, from what I can see, a Jordan 1 Chicago. It just looks a little aged. So I'm very hype about this release. Now, we know the hype for the Air Jordan 1 has kind of died down. We've been seeing a lot of the Air Jordan 1s releasing, at least the general releases that are going for almost retail i mean basically retail you can get some of these like the brotherhoods the heritage ones and, and both shoes in my opinion are dope I, I really like both of them but we know it's not the move for resale and things like that so i'm interested to see how this shoe is going to do as far as the availability and also what it does on resale market because even though the air jordan one right now isn't the most sought after as far as resale Anytime you're dealing with the OG colorways like this, the Jordan 1 Chicago, I think it's going to definitely be a problem. I think resale is going to be there, but I'm interested to see how that goes. Let me know how you guys feel about that. Do you think that it's going to be easy to obtain? Do you think resale is going to be high on this shoe, given that the Air Jordan 1 kind of isn't the top dog right now? I know the Air Jordan 4 is really taking over as far as hype, but I think this is going to be different because it's the Air Jordan 1 OG colorway with the Chicago. Also, it's got that vintage look, and we know that's that's kind of in now. So I think these are definitely going to be a problem. I hate to say that. <laughs> I hate saying that, but I definitely feel that way. I think they're going to be a problem. I'm hoping they make them widely available so everyone who wants a pair can get a pair. But I see them making these more on the limited side. But I'm hoping that's not the case. I hope they're widely available so that we can all get a pair because I definitely need one or two of these to be able to rock and have in the collection. So I definitely want to get my hands on these and put them on foot as soon as possible. So I'm hoping they're going to be easy to get our hands on because from the looks of it right now, it's it looks like it's going to be a banger. It looks like it's going to be a banger. But we haven't seen the whole shoe. 
but so far what we are seeing I'm impressed with I'm cool with I don't think they're going too far with it I know the cracked leather on the the toe box is a little like eh, but I can live with it I still think it's cool but like I said let me know how you feel about them let me know if this is something you're as excited about as I am or if you really just don't care but let me know either way so also we know the Air Jordan 2 I Mom and Year did drop yesterday let me know if you guys were able to take a W on that your boy struck out of course <laughs> I can never get through on these types of releases but it is what it is but let me know if you took a W on that shoe I did see quite a few people posting that they actually took W so that is what's up unfortunately it didn't work out for your boy but it's all good I do think it's a dope shoe I like the colorway I like the materials and things so maybe maybe one day I'll get into the collection I'm hoping that I can get the exclusive access whenever sneakers app drops, which I believe is tomorrow. So I believe tomorrow we got the Air Jordan 2. Yes, yeah, June 3rd. So tomorrow we got the Air Jordan 2 I'm a Manier dropping via exclusive access on sneakers app. I'm hoping that I can get access because I really do like that shoe and it's a shoe that I want. But shout out to everybody who was able to take W's through I Ma Manier. That's dope. That is a big W. So shout out to you guys. Leave a comment. Let me know if you were able to take a W on them, if you were able to get through. And I'm hoping hoping fingers crossed that i can get exclusive access to be able to get a pair because this is a shoe that i actually really want i'm really digging the shoe and it's maybe something that i would even consider paying resale for and you know your boy is retail gang so <laughs> i don't pay resale for a lot of things but i would consider paying resale for this shoe because i think it's a nice shoe and we know this saturday we got the air jordan 6 what we're calling the red oreo dropping now I don't know how people are really feeling about this shoe. I don't think there's much hype around the shoe. In my opinion, I was like, okay, this is gonna be an easy cop. But today, Sneaker Twitter sent out the alert that exclusive access was live from JD Sports and Finish Line, and your boy didn't get access. <laughs> and usually, I get access to just about everything that you know finish line drops through exclusive access so i'm kind of thinking like what's going on with these is it going to be a more limited release is it just that i didn't get it maybe my store isn't getting them so i do plan to go to my store probably today or tomorrow just to kind of see what they got sitting on shelves also to inquire about the air jordan 6 red oreo because your boy wants this shoe and i did not get exclusive access so let me know though did you get ea from finish line or jd sports maybe it just maybe i just didn't get it i don't know but let me know if this is a shoe that you even want i know there's not much hype on the shoe i don't think resale is going crazy on the shoe i think it's around 240 ish for mine so i don't think there's a lot of demand for it but the fact that i didn't get exclusive access makes me wonder are these a little more limited is there late shipments well you know kind of what's going on with it because I'm used to getting exclusive access for just about everything that goes through exclusive access on JD Sports and Finish Line. So I'm a little concerned about that. So I do plan on hitting up my store, seeing you know if there's late shipments or what's going on with it, because I think this is a nice shoe. I would definitely love to get them in hand to, to do a pickup vlog for you guys, but also to just compare them to the Air Jordan 6 Midnight Navies to see how I feel about them. I know it's a pretty plain shoe, but I like it. I really do like them. I like the speckles. I like the red. I think it's nice. I think it's nice. It's going to be a nice summer shoe. So I'm definitely trying to get my hands on those. Let me know how you feel about the Air Jordan 6 red Oreo. Let me know, especially if you got exclusive access for them, because I'm wondering who got access because on the post, I don't see a lot of people interacting and saying that they got access. So I'm wondering if these are going to be limited or if there's late shipments or what's going on with that. But stay tuned because I'm definitely going to hit my mall up, probably do a video about it, do a vlog um, and see what's going on with that and also what's sitting on shelves. So make sure you stay tuned for that. I just wanted to tap in with you guys. Talk about this. The Air Jordan 1 Chicago reimagined. It's not dropping until October, but we did get the first looks and I'm feeling the way that they look for sure let me know how you feel about them of course also the air jordan 6 red oreo exclusive access dropped let me know if you got exclusive access your boy didn't so we definitely definitely depending on the flex app depending on hibbit at this point I never went on Hibbit, but hopefully the Flex app will show your boys some love, but stay tuned for that. So let me know how you feel about these things. Make sure, like the video, that does help us get out in the algorithm so we can continue to grow and live out our dreams. If you're into dope sneaker content, make sure to subscribe to the channel. We are on the road to 2K. 
Soon as we get there, we're going to do another giveaway. So make sure to tell a friend to tell a friend, sub to the channel, hit the notification bell so you can get notified when we drop content so you don't miss anything. But yeah, that's all we got. Talk to me. And of course, I'm going to talk back to you guys. I definitely appreciate everybody who's been showing love. It doesn't go unnoticed. It means a lot to your boy. It's your boy, Mar. I am checking out. Stay blessed. Live your life. Peace.